Hi guys, it's Sandy. So I told you I would get on here and share what I eat to break a fast and what not to eat, which is just as important. So I am doing intermittent fasting. I started in August and it is now January. And you can see from the before and after pictures, I have lost weight, I've lost inflammation, I'm sleeping better, my thumb stopped hurting, I have a ton of energy, the brain fog um, is just lifting. It feels so good. And my body, just the body composition has changed also along with the weight. It's just changed. I feel so good in my clothes now. So I wanna share with you what to break your fast with. Now, I was doing this wrong whenever I first started. I personally do the intermittent fasting of 16 and eight where I fast for 16 hours, no food coming in. And I, um, I do a clean fast and then I eat in an eight hour window. Uh, people have asked me, do I eat two or three times a day? So usually I eat three times a day. They're not great big meals, but I eat three times a day. I eat until I'm satisfied and feel good. Um, but if I have a really big first meal, I am way too full. And I either can't eat again until dinner or I can only eat like an apple and, and some nuts or something. So, um, that's about the way that it works for me. Now, I have read that over time, I will probably need to switch that up. And, and of course, our bodies always will get used to it. If you're doing the same kinds of workouts every single day and the same foods every day, your body gets used to it. So the same thing with intermittent fasting. If you're doing, if I do only 16-8 forever, my body will get used to it and I'll need to switch it up and do something but it's working great for me right now. And I love that you guys comment and tell me what you're doing because it helps other people. They read your comments and are like, oh, okay, maybe what I'm doing won't work, but what you're doing will work for them. People have said they eat low carb and intermittent fasting and have done wonderful and lost tons of weight. I don't eat low carb. Um, I don't eat like tons and tons of carbs, but I, I enjoy carbs, so I eat them. Um, this is not a diet. It is a lifestyle, and that's why I say if I enjoy it, I eat it within reason. Um, I also enjoy something sweet every once in a while, and I don't eat it every day, but within reason, I can have that. And I don't eat processed foods, hardly ever, uh, minimally processed. I stay away from lots of sugar and that kind of thing. So I choose healthier options, but I also eat pizza and tacos, and um, I get to enjoy food because that is this is not a diet. And that is the beauty of intermittent fasting. Along with getting rid of weight, I've gotten rid of a lot of inflammation, but I choose better foods. Let me tell you, inflammation. See if any of this sounds like you. Uh, do you have bloating or headaches or weight gain or constipation or brain frog, frog, brain, brain fog? <laughs> or arthritis, like I had arthritis in my thumb, which is mostly gone now. So it's just inflammation in the joints. That was inflammation. You can see how my face has even lost a lot of inflammation from the before and after pictures. I feel so good. If you have any of those, think about intermittent fasting. Now, to break your fast, the thing about um, when you are fasting, your blood glucose levels are stable because there's no food coming in. When we eat, our blood glucose levels raise and insulin comes in and does its thing. And that's the way the body works. It's supposed to work that way. Um, but if you are fasted and then you break your fast with uh, the wrong food and make your blood sugar just spike like crazy, then all that work that you just did staying in the fasting state, it doesn't help you as much because you ate the wrong food. So let me just tell you what I start with most days, not every day, but a lot of days, four days at least in a week, I start with apple cider vinegar and I mix it with lemon juice. And what that does, and then a lot of times, I'm gonna tell you I put chia seeds in it too and I'll tell you why. But um, this, first of all, just gets my digestion ready for food, but also the thing about apple cider vinegar is it'll help you feel full and it stabilizes blood, uh, blood glucose levels. It helps stabilize them. So it will help keep them more stabilized whenever I uh, start eating the first bites of food. So this is something that I definitely use along with lemon juice. Um, you can see how I just mix it together. Now, you want protein. 
make sure that you are getting protein with your first meal. I don't mean you just have to sit down and eat a piece of meat only. Here's a piece of fish that I got out. That's not the only thing that to eat, but make sure you have enough protein in your first meal and some healthy fats to feel satisfied. So if you're breaking your fast with um, donuts, bagels, uh, cereal, pancakes, waffles, oatmeal, those kind of things, you know, all the things that we think of when we think of breakfast foods, um, breakfast foods, then you're actually hurting your body by breaking your fast with that because you're gonna have a huge blood sugar spike is what's gonna happen. And your body's gonna go, whoa, what happened here? First I was having no food and then you put that in my body and I'm like, you know, it, that is not what you wanna happen. <laughs> so you want things to stay pretty stable. Even though they're gonna race, keep them more stable. So having protein with your first meal and some healthy fats. Um, what I try to do is uh, protein, uh, fat, and fiber. So make sure you have that stuff because when you have healthy fats and protein, it'll keep you feeling satisfied. And so if you're somebody who you ate and two hours later you're like, I'm starving, it's because your blood glucose just went up too much. You broke your fast with the wrong kind of thing. Or if you are just starving as soon as you start eating, you're probably breaking your fast wrong every day by having too much sugary items. So great things to have. Obviously meat, that's great. Lean meats are best. Um, eggs are a great source of protein. So I always have a, you know, a couple eggs, boiled eggs or fried eggs. So if, if I'm breaking my fast, it's one of my favorite things to break my fast with. So here is an example of what I broke my fast with today. I had soup, but it has plenty of protein in it. This is a sausage lentil soup that Caraba's um, copycat soup. So it has sausage and lentils and vegetables. And I put Parmesan cheese in it just to have, um, more taste and a good healthy fat. So that is what I broke up my fast with today. So it doesn't have to look the same every day. A bowl of soup I could have to break my fast. And then avocados are fantastic fat to add along with any of this. Olive oil, uh, where's my olives? Olives are great to add in. That's a great source of fat. Um, avocados, nuts, seeds, those are great sources of fat to add in to keep you feeling satisfied. I'm not saying pour a bottle, you know, a, a fourth of a cup on your, your food or anything of olive oil, but add it and you will feel satisfied if it's a good extra virgin olive oil. Greek yogurt is a wonderful thing to break your fast with. Also, if you can do dairy, not everybody can handle dairy, but um, make sure and buy whole fat. When you're buying stuff, make sure it's whole fat because whenever you're buying the low fat stuff, that whole low fat craze that went through really messed up people's bodies and metabolism. They put fillers in. If you're hearing, or if you I should say hearing, if you're hearing my dog clickety clacking around, she's just walking all around. So, but if you are eating low fat stuff, then they put other kind of fillers in there to give it flavor because they took the flavor out, the fat gave it flavor. So I buy whole fat stuff to eat. So Greek yogurt, it's got protein in it. It is 17 grams of protein for three fourths of a cup. So put that in there. Don't eat your yogurt all by itself. Even though it's a great fat and protein, you need some fiber in there too. So put some nuts on, put some berries on. If you're putting granola on and you're eating granola for breakfast and you think that sounds healthy, it, it will do major blood sugar spike also because it's just a sugary uh, form of putting oats and stuff on there. So instead, put actual nuts on your, on your yogurt. Another great protein is cottage cheese. So same thing. It's a, a dairy product. You can't do dairy, but I watched Autumn Bates about her intermittent fasting and she said cottage cheese is great and it is and I love cottage cheese. So 13 grams of protein for a half a cup. So basically these are the same amounts of protein that you're getting. Same thing. Don't just eat it by itself. Put some fruit with it or put some tomatoes with it or you know whatever you uh, like. Put something else with it so you've got that fat and fiber and um, um, fat fiber protein is what you need in your meal. So I will add this along with a sandwich that I'm having or something like that. Um, 
We don't think about it a whole lot, but pistachios, they actually have a good amount of protein in them also. Nuts have, are a great source of getting healthy fats and some protein also. So that's why it's great to put it into your Greek yogurt or along with your cottage cheese, have a little bit, a handful of them. It's a great source of protein and fat. And what you probably don't even think about are chia seeds. These actually are a pretty good punch of protein also. So I don't know if you've ever heard of making chia pudding. It's super easy. You'd have it done in like five minutes and have um, three meals to break your fast with out of it. It's really easy. Uh, you don't wanna just put almond milk and sweetener in it though and call it a day. You need to make sure that you're adding some good fats to it, some fiber. So make this, put some uh, berries with it whenever you get ready to eat it or you could put some nuts with it, um, both with them, and just make it some cacao nibs or some dark chocolate. Just make it something that is satisfying to eat and will keep you full for a while. So, uh, and then don't put a lot of maple syrup or honey in it. If you might eat a little bit just as a sweetener, but if you put too much in, then this is your first meal, you're gonna really raise blood sugar again. But this is a great way to break a fast also, is with chia seeds. Now, I'm not real big into uh, smoothies at all. I like to actually chew food, but like this is collagen. It does have a good punch of protein in it also. I personally use this a lot of times to put in that first drink that I have before I break my fast because I told you I do a clean fast. So with the clean fast that I do, that I had all read about, which made all the difference for me when I switched from dirty fasting to clean fasting, I only drink plain water, uh, plain black coffee, and plain green tea or black tea. So in my fasting state. So whenever I go to break the fast, and I said I use this, the vinegar and lemon juice, and sometimes even put chia seeds in it. I'll also a lot of times put this in here, which is a collagen. It's a grass-fed collagen. I, when I remember, I forget about it a lot, but when I remember, I will also add this. So it's getting a good source of protein also. And here protein is 18 grams of protein for two scoops. I actually only do one scoop, I didn't read that. But nonetheless, um, it also it's some added protein and collagen, uh, which is a good thing to do too. And then another one is bone broth. Bone broth is a great way to break a fast, mostly if you're doing longer fasts. I told you I'm 16-8. Some of you have told me that you're 18-6 or 20 and 4. Um, or if you're even doing longer fast, bone broth is a great way to break your fast too. It has tons of nutrients in it. It's easy on the stomach going in. Um, one of the things that I really read was raw vegetables are kind of hard on your belly as the first thing to start digesting, mostly if you've been fasting very long. So my dog is outside trying to bark to get in. I know you keep hearing so many noises from Josie, <laughs> but I wanted to share these main foods with you. Make sure you're breaking your fast with protein, some healthy fats in there, some fiber in there, and stay away from any processed carbs and sugar and anything that is a high carb that is just gonna spike your blood sugar up. Okay, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Next time, I think I'm gonna do on exercise. A lot of people have asked about what I do, and I will tell you, I'm not in a gym, no hour or two a day. <laughs> That's not what I do. But effective, effective exercise, lots of walking, but I wanna share what I do and give you guys some ideas too. And here's Josie, since she's been sitting outside waiting to come in. All right, until next time, I'm out.